finally watched it. I watched it three times, actually. I actually watched Attack on Titan three times. And <laughs> I watched it three times specifically because, <sighs> for one, I didn't understand the first time that I, that I seen it. I didn't understand the first time. It, like, I don't know if I was, like, um, the first, like, the only one, but, um, towards the end, it got a little bit, I don't know, narrow to me, and I just really wanted to, um, hone in on, like, actually what I was, like, looking at here, because I didn't expect this last episode to be this daunting, this, like, wonderful um and at the same time it was really very sad you know like i'm gonna cry like i am but you know that's how it is it's it's the end how do you guys feel about that um what did you guys think about attack on titan um the last episode how did it make you feel um so yeah, like I said, I watched it three times. The third time really um, put everything together. I feel that <clears throat> if this situation was an actual situation, real life situation, something like this could not possibly just be over. Even in the, the long years that it was like persistent, um ongoing and you know attack on titan so um i feel that something of this magnitude of this scary magnitude would not be so like okay it's it's ending um and it was in some points of the the um the the last episode where it's just like okay this is this is something that's going to happen like over and over and over and over again um even if like they just manifest it um it was very sad it was it was it was one point in there the baby was being you know carried by everyone trying to save every second of life of this child this baby's life and that really hit me <laughs> that really that mm. they pulled my heartstrings on this guys i don't know if they pulled y'all heartstrings but they pulled my heartstrings on this and i was just like oh my god mm. you know what what is it like let's turn this up like what is it that you know this, this is such an this is such a really good anime. I never thought that when I first like seen the uh, the the poster for or the trailer. I never thought I would actually like this, but I do love horror, and obviously I love anime. So um, I I I thought this this whole Attack on Titan anime was just going to be so so boring and not interesting but i this is one of my this is number one on my list on the top top um top five enemies and i really just i don't know i really really had a um a very interesting experience watching it since it's really not going to be any more seasons or parts anymore i mean i don't know what do you guys think like it's, oh my God, I don't know. It, it's very, like I said, daunting. It's very sad. And I don't know, it's, it just really is, is, is the, the ending. I'm not gonna give like spoilers to any because if someone hasn't watched. Ending to this um, wonderful, wonderful, great anime um was is is was it was extremely hurtful i don't know i felt hurt i really did i felt like there was it, just a, an immense amount of sadness and there is it's just no it's it's no happiness there, there would be
be no happiness. Paradise Island, no happiness whatsoever. And I remember the moments where they got to experience like ice cream for the first time and just, oh my God, just th that one, one, one moment of joy, just eating ice cream. And it honestly kind of like reminded me of just what's going on in this world today. But, um, and it just, it just like, like give thanks to what you really have. This is why I love, I talk about Attack on Titan to people and sometimes they just look at me with a blank stare, you know, like this is a really, just like I talked to, like a uh, one, one piece. Um, I love really, really good in-depth type of um, anime. Like, I love anime that makes you think. I love anime that has to do with democracy and our government. I just love that type of anime. Um, I would say I love um, Magical Girl 2, but uh, 